By the end of this video, I will have found a brand new winning drop shipping product. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how I research and find winning drop shipping products. So you can go away and use this method yourself to launch and test new products for your Shopify business. Now, just before we get into this any further, I have partnered up with Shopify. They are currently offering any new business a free three day trial and then the first month at one pound or one dollar. So if you're watching this video and you're wanting to get into drop shipping, it is a great opportunity to do so. It's going to literally cost you a dollar for the first month. And I'll leave the link to claim this offer at the top of the description even if you've got a store now for example you can always close it down and then launch a new store to benefit from this deal if you're quite tight with cash flow so definitely check the link in the top of the description to claim this and let's get into this video now many people will go on about paid tools or paid groups for releasing sort of new products and things like that or just products research tools in general that are paid I personally have never ever used a product research tool that is paid the only one I have used is a free online one this is not a paid sponsorship piece or anything. I often use thieve.co and it's sort of the first step I take in my product research process just to try and get my brain thinking, just to try and open my mind up to perhaps different categories, different niches, different styles of products I perhaps would never have thought of in the first place. So if you go over to the Thieve website, you'll be greeted with this screen. It's quite hidden from the homepage, but what you want to do is click the swipes thing at the top of the screen. I know you can't actually see it because my screen's not recording that portion of the screen, but at the top right, there will be a swipes button. Now you want to click that and it's kind of like, I mean, you can see for yourself, it's kind of like Tinder, but for dropshipping products. So you don't need to make an account or anything and there's no need to, you know, heart a product. The best way I just simply do it because I think this will prompt you to make an account I just click the cross and it will keep cycling through all of the different product now if you like the idea of a product you can either go and search on Aliexpress or you can click on the product here and it usually does take you to an Aliexpress link but I've noticed a lot recently I don't know if they're just not updating it as regularly but it will greet you with an error screen like this so this is purely for like I said, first step, getting a good idea of different categories and ideas flowing through your head. So I'm just going to hit this a few more times and I'll come back in a minute once I've found something that has grabbed my attention and then we'll go research further on AliExpress. Okay, literally three clicks later, I've landed on this and this one is actually working. Like I said, with the previous one, it said product uh, details not available, but I've clicked this one. You can see it gives a bunch of different things and it even gives you a draft product description that you can easily copy and paste on Shopify. I wouldn't solely rely on this it's highly likely it's AI generated which is nothing wrong with that but if you're using AI it's always good to add your own tweaks and things like that into it but it's the perfect starting point rather than copy and paste in the AliExpress description this is a great alternative that will get you off on a better foot now what this essentially is is a stylish sort of chic modern style kitchen or bathroom uh, floor mat they've branded it as a kitchen mat you could easily go down the route and use these or market these as bathroom mats and then all I've done here is obviously view on AliExpress and it will give you the different SKUs of different colors, sizes and things like that. And a few key things that I'm obviously looking for, which is kind of a given with any product research method. You want to see if it sold many units, this particular product over a thousand units. Now there's not a minimum number of sold units I look for. I just try and, I, you know, I want to see a few, even if it's 10 units sold, because that means there is stock for this item. Sometimes in the past, I have found what I think is going to be a very good item to sell. I add it to my site. By the time I've sold like the first unit, I'll then go and order it off AliExpress and then it's out of stock and it's completely gone. So as long as it has at least 10 sold units, it's a good sign that there's stock and you know some reliable sort of suppliers for this particular product. Another thing, obviously product reviews here, we've got 182. I would always go and check the images if you can, just to see if the product looks good. I mean, the first one we're clicking on here looks pretty good to me. So you'll get an idea pretty much straight away if a product is looking good. This is a three star review here. I mean, it looks like they've just received the wrong one, but that's where you need your, you know, private agents, fulfillment agents and things like that. So then you don't face issues like this, but that's for scaling. That's for a completely different video. So this product overall looks great. Another way you can continue looking because obviously if you're looking for products, if you're doing product research, you're not necessarily going to just want to find one product. And a great way to get further inspiration from the same sort of categories is just look at the related items in the AliExpress description. You can see that it's given us a bunch of other ones. You've got other stylish rugs or mats. You've got things like this. 
this and you can just keep clicking through clicking through and just getting different ideas and being shown recommendations from aliexpress this is an extremely effective method and honestly it has allowed me to find some you know really high performing products in the last few years and this sort of just proves why i don't ever feel the need for a paid product research tool and one key example of why i personally don't think that is because let's say there's 500 or a thousand people paying for this product research tool they're paying to receive winning products from some source all 500 slash a thousand people paying for this service are likely going to receive the same winning products in their you know inbox or whatever every day or every week which means 500 to a thousand people are then going to try and sell the same product at the same time which instantly just creates more competition and you know i'm sure you understand what i'm trying to say you're paying for a service and it's just going to put you in a worse position so anyway let's let's move on now the next stage i lean to is validation and a tool i've used in many videos google keyword planner this is even useful if you're not planning to market on google and for example you only wanted to do tiktok or facebook seeing there is an actual demand for this category or type of product will give you a better indication or not if people are going to likely receive it well and you know on other platforms as well so if we just go on keyword planner here and just search some of the keywords related to this product We've got kitchen floor mat and then if we just do absorbent kitchen mat now if we just change this to united states and then uh we'll take a look at the results okay perfect now I'll switch to united states we've gone with a few of these um keywords and you can see here the broader terms like kitchen rug slash kitchen mat fifty thousand searches a month which you know it's a really positive sign great sign if you're going to market these sorts of products on google and just a quick side note if you are already running google ads and perhaps struggling or you want to introduce google ads to your business i do own a google ads agency where me and a team of experts take over and manage your google account we fix everything that's wrong with it and then we scale it for you so quick side note and there'll be a link in the description for that as well with this information here like i said with google if you're running google ads this is great validation that people are going to be searching for your product because as we all know Google is based on search volume if no one's searching for your product then no one's going to find it and no one's going to click it but this can also be very useful like I said if you're marketing on other platforms TikTok Facebook Snapchat anything like that it just goes to show that people are already interested in this type of product so it is going to essentially increase the likelihood that broader audiences are going to like it as well so this part of the process you know literally takes 30 seconds or a minute but it's it's definitely very important just to sort of validate the product that little bit more than just looking at the aliexpress sold number and uh, reviews now another great tip to use this keyword planner for i occasionally say you know i don't personally like the term winning product because someone out there already is you know doing incredibly well with it and potentially it could hinder your ability to break into the market but through this strategy here you know just by doing this video we've already established that there is demand for type of product like, you know kitchen rugs kitchen mats and things like that now google keyword planner is very very helpful with this and if we just search uh kitchen products because we found the product but let's take a step back and look at the niche slash category it's in it's obviously in the kitchen products niche so if we do that on keyword planner it doesn't necessarily just give you terms related to kitchen products it will give you a whole host of examples of specific kitchen products that as you can see here have hundreds of thousands of searches a month and and this is another great way you know if this was me i'd be like okay then we're going to go ahead and test you know the first product we found the kitchen rug slash mat but let's try and add a few other products with it and test a few products in this category now like i said you know we've got hundreds i mean if we just filter from uh, average monthly searches you've got obviously things you can't drop ship like kitchen cabinets ovens and things like that you can find things on aliexpress like waffle makers 110,000 searches a month i've seen knife sharpeners on you know tiktok and facebook for years people are drop shipping and obviously you know just to show you this doesn't w just work with kitchen products you can do garden products as well and it will do the exact same thing now you do need a google ad account to use google keyword planner again if you don't have one already i mean you probably should have if you're running a business but it, it literally takes a few minutes to do and again just so you can see here you've got garden products again a completely different 
category, but again, gives you so much inspiration for you to then go back to AliExpress or wherever you source your products from to find, you know, a bunch more. So you can see in the space of 10, 15 minutes that this video has taken, we've found a potential winning product in the bathroom rug slash mat, but we've found a way to find five, 10, 20 more products to add just by using the power of Google Keyword Planner. Now, if you've seen a product you want to sell on TikTok or Facebook because it's doing well or on Google, you don't have to sell and copy directly that same product because, I mean, obviously, frankly, one, there's potential issues there too, but it means someone's already doing it better than you and they've already got the trust from, you know, their brand and things like that. So never go in and directly sell the same product that is already working extremely well for someone else. Instead, make it your own, brand it, you know, branded packaging, anything like that to make yours stand out as your own product will honestly elevate you 10 times higher than just going on and selling directly from AliExpress. It's a great place to start, I know. It's great to test. There's no point going and order a thousand units of this bathroom rug, for example, with your custom logo on it. It's a great way to test, but once you start to see positive results, let's say we're getting profitable results from this product over the first sort of two weeks or month, I would then go straight away and get some branding done, some custom images to really excel and push your product above your competition to make it look as best it can. You know, if you're just relying on drop shipping from AliExpress forever, things will die quickly and it's just not a good way to build a business long-term. Now, just before we end, I wanna just quickly share a few very key pointers that you want to probably include on your product page or landing page that should hopefully increase your conversion rate and just help you present your product and brand better because that all ties in with this you know you're trying to find a winning product but if it's going to be displayed on a very bad looking website no one's going to buy it now first and something that's very important spoken about a lot before custom images and videos whether you're ordering the product yourself to take pictures with your phone or hiring a photography studio to take very high quality pictures it is a must if you want to scale because like i said you cannot just rely on low resolution AliExpress images forever, it's not gonna work. Now, another thing, brand trust. Have good online reviews on trusted third-party websites like Trustpilot. Obviously, if you're just starting out, you don't need to worry about that, but avoid getting negative reviews on this website because I know you can publish reviews on your Shopify store through apps like Looks and things like that, and you can control what views are being shown and what reviews aren't being shown, but when you're getting negative reviews on Trustpilot, you can't remove them. They're there for everyone to see and linking in with that obviously you're going to get good reviews if you're providing a good product quick delivery good customer service and all those things that make a good business so don't ignore your customers don't fulfill orders once a week and let your customers wait four weeks for delivery again you're going to get payment holds chargebacks and everything will probably just get shut down now a few very important things to put on your product page slash landing page i always like to put a few sort of key bullet points somewhere high up on the landing page mainly because not everyone is going to want to sit there and read paragraph after paragraph if you put sort of the three or four key benefits or key features of the product somewhere high up in the page that's definitely going to help i like to have trust badges on product pages but when i say trust badges i don't mean lifetime warranty or those scammy looking drop shipping ones i simply just have the payment badges that are used on my website so visa mastercard amex paypal apple pay those sorts of things usually again at the top of the page somewhere near the add to cart button it immediately builds trust with your customers or potential customers now yes you can upload all the images to shopify directly but not always our customers going to scroll through or swipe through your product carousel it is good to include some products or gifts in the product description because they're going to be big they're going to be bold and i would use gifts over videos because they load instantly and they're just automatically played for the viewer now just two more things an faq frequently asked questions section this could be at the bottom of the page but again if people are looking for our answers they're probably going to be scrolling to the bottom of the page anyway any key questions you think people might have about your product very good to address them in the faq it could be things like what is this product made from how long is delivery what is your returns policy be as transparent as possible because if you're hiding information people are going to get suspicious and using an faq is a great way to display that and be transparent with your potential customers and finally very simple things like size charts if you're selling clothing or anything that has multiple sizes sizes it's very good to include size charts because people can become easily confused when sizes are involved so as long as you've got a size guide that's clearly represented that is only going to have a positive
positive effect on your conversion rate. Now I do apologize for my voice this video. I've been recovering from tonsillitis, but I hope you have found this video useful. I've enjoyed very much making it for you. If you are new around here, please do subscribe. And if you want to claim your free three day Shopify trial, along with your first month being either a dollar or a pound, click the link at the top of the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.